My shit's uncut raw, pure when I deliver Shivers up your spine like when strict nine climbs I leave your mind in a spasm, comatose from dose Friends eating frazzle, forever leave you dazzle Uncut raw, I deliver Shivers up your spine like when strict nine climbs I leave your mind in a Who is Philly's take? Shit, the oldest alligator in the fucking swamp I'm an old school motherfucker, I'm still alive I ain't locked up in prison Motherfucking just been at it for a long ass time and shit. Philly steak. You know, let's get it. Oh, shit. I started on some drums uh, way back in the day. You know, about like 17 years old. I started going to like this punk club downtown um, 3rd Street called the Ice Pick. I was playing drums in this band Dope Fiend. There was these brothers out of uh, the Heights called the beat boys and jazz was the main uh rapper and like it was like a punk rock club and everything and like a lot of bands wanted to keep the punk rock with like punk rock out of detroit or you know like stuff like that but we was like nah we want to open up for the beat boys let jazz and the boys come down and just rap and do their thing probably 1989 1990 91 92 93 all in that era right there. So Jazz and the Beat Boys would come down there and get on stage. And after we would do our thing, Dope Fiend, do our musical thing and shit, we was dope as hell. Jazz and them would come on stage and the Beat Boys would just kill it. And everybody, everybody in the crowd is not even like really into rap or nothing because rap really wasn't even out so much yet. It was coming out, you know, NWA and all that shit. But these boys was really on it. And I was like honored to be able to be on the same bill as these dudes and we would put them on our flyer and, and make a three page flyer and uh, advertisement for our ice pick show with the beat boys and jazz would come down there. Man, it was, it was love. It was love. Just keep doing what you love, man. I ain't, I ain't got pipe dreams of being the baddest, biggest rapper. I ain't even worried about that shit. I'm just doing what I love and you know what? You got to live the life first before you rap it if you ain't really live the life then why the fuck is you rapping about the shit sack up them fat sacks so my stacks gonna stack for sure jody dro and then uh him and chilla pertilla came over to my house and did a video el chapo and that was dope look that up on youtube el chapo jody dro is is sweet jody dro said man uh this jay ingersoll dude he's got beats and shit and then I was on Facebook, um, sipping my beer, just scrolling through Facebook and stuff. And I saw uh, Jay Ingersoll interviewing uh, Chilla Pertilla. And um, Jay had like a death metal shirt on. And I was like, shit, all right, well, let me check this out for a second. It was just like, it worked It worked out because I checked that interview out. And I know Chilla real good. He just came over to my house. And Jody Dro has said... Jay does beats. It was like a, a no-brainer. And then I was drinking and shit. And then I just like messaged Jay. And I'm like, fuck, I'm the real deal, man. Fuck, blah, blah. You know, talking my shit or whatever. And Jay was like, all right. And he kind of checked me like, well, you know, maybe when you're not drinking, show up over here. And and I fucking did, actually. And uh, I got an album out. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it worked out. And it came out fucking sweet. It was awesome as hell. I had had a lot of lyrics, you know, built up over the years that I wanted to produce this shit and it was still relevant and everything. And then, stay twisted, so Hustler got terrific. Started pinching panties and said, fuck all you bitches, listen. C-I-N-E, I'm a slick slang slinger, straight out the ski. Uh, I ran into you, Jay Ingersoll, um, who does the Exidor Productions beats and everything. And man. It was just fire. I came over here. Uh, we banged out like five songs in like a day. Philly Steak. What up, y'all? Philly Steak. Deep Fried Depression, DFD. Pinch the Hustler in this motherfucker, Muskegon, Michigan. If you don't know me already, you're going to know who I am. What up? Hell yeah, he came through, killed some tracks today. We got a cool session. And then I, I would come back like in like a week or two, and then we would just do a whole bunch more and stuff. It was yeah, it was the real deal. I finally felt comfortable with someone with beats where where I could let my let my expressions and all my demons and all my art and all my stuff out. And man, here we are. And I got them lyrics on a different one, but I I'm just using that little yeah, chorus cool. thing. Now I got some other shit. 
All right, so what 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 kind of vibe you want for this? This one, like fucking, all right, heavy, deep, deep, like, uh, maybe, man, let me think. Kind of, I like the deep 808s, man, like the shit that hits hard, like that, like the old Beastie style, and then I want some guitar on this motherfucker. Yeah. To the top I'll climb, me and prime intertwine, cash and weight, power plus eight. She had misfits shoes on her feet, and my that album's called An Unoccupied Mind is the Devil's Workshop. Like, if you don't have some shit on your mind, if you ain't got some uh, real focus on something, hobbies, something, something. Man, the devil's going to get you. You're going to get into some shit. You might get into this drug, that drug. You might think you're slick. You might start hustling this. You might start thinking, hey, whatever which way. An unoccupied mind's the devil's workshop. Get some shit on your mind. Do something positive. Otherwise, the devil's going to get your ass, okay? Amen. I really don't know what's next. I just take it day by day, but I got like... Five more uh, uh, instrumental songs, and I'm working on uh, the next uh, CD and everything. I hear um, Latin J and Deuces and them. They got a little show coming up and everything. I shouldn't say little show. They got a show coming up. I'm going to probably do some songs on this show to get me back out here and start in this shit. Because it feels good, man. And I trust Jay, and I trust what's going on with these guys. They got a, uh, there's a bunch of good-ass rappers, man. And they're all coming out, man. Let me just say, Michigan, we got Muskegon, Grand Rapids, and all this. We got some good-ass talent right here. Hope to see you at the show. Fuck with your boy, Philly State. And fuck with Jay, and thank you for the interview. Get the fuck out my way, I got some shit to say. I've been out in these streets all goddamn day. So I'ma buy up the beats and leave my art on display. And I wouldn't have it any other motherfucker.